Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today I have something a little bit different. I wanted to actually run down my top 5 servers for the PC version of Battlefield 4. Unfortunately, I don't have the game on any of the consoles, so I can't really comment as to how alive the game is on any of those platforms, but I have heard from comments in the past and people who watch my videos that the game is indeed alive and well on consoles too, so if you're thinking about picking up the game on console, then don't let me stop you by all means. But I've noticed since I've come back to playing Battlefield 4 after taking a few years on a hiatus, that there aren't nearly as many servers as there were before, which is, of course, understandable. The game came out in 2013. Although, that being said, it's probably around 100 or so populated servers, I would say maybe 20 or 30. So you can definitely play this game day in, day out. And I know a lot of people, veterans of the series, are still playing the game every day. Um, there are also new people coming into the game. Maybe people who have picked up Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 5 as their first Battlefield title, and they've heard about Battlefield 3 or 4, and they think, hey, you know what, maybe I'll pick it up on a discount and get into things. So with that said, I wanted to do this quick rundown of uh, my top five favorite servers. So by no means the absolute best five servers, but this is just my pick. And uh, one disclaimer I would like to put out there is those of you who have followed my channel for some time will know that I have an affinity for air vehicles in Battlefield 4. So a lot of these servers will be geared towards actually being able to fly in the jets. So coming in at number five, we have TBG Clan's air and sea maps server. So this is 64 players, 1400 tickets, and it basically rotates between three maps, Paracel Storm, Golmud Railway, and Hainan Resort. Three of the more enjoyable jet maps, I would say. Some of my favorites in the past, so if you're looking to improve your skills at flying the attack jet or indeed the stealth jet, I can highly recommend this server, of course. As it says, sea maps as well, so if you're more for boats or ground vehicles, then this is a great server for that as well. So one thing to mention is that this server has extremely fast vehicle respawns. So just for your reference, the vehicle respawn delay on a normal server is 100%. Um, that means the attack jet, um, the attack helicopter, and the other big firepower vehicles have a one and a half minute respawn. The stealth jet and the scout helicopter a one minute respawn. So anything less than 100% means that server is going to have faster vehicle spawns. Anything more than 100% means slower vehicle spawns. And this particular server has a respawn delay of 25 percent so if 50 percent is half of one and a half minutes so that's 45 seconds 25 percent i guess would be 22 and a half second respawn on the attack jet um the attack helicopter and even shorter for most of the other vehicles so it's personal preference whether you enjoy this or not on the one hand, if you're somebody who's trying to get better in a certain vehicle and you keep dying a lot, you're not going to have to wait too long on the spawn screen before the vehicle is up again and you can get in there and have another go. However, once you start becoming quite proficient in the vehicles and you just want to stay in there and do your best killing ground targets, it's really annoying to have the enemy attack jet and the enemy stealth jet just constantly spawning over and over again. Um, you sort of end up tied down dealing with enemy air units, um, not being able to take out any ground units. I would also mention that this is a US server. Personally, for me, I get around 125 ping over there. So not really the best if you're looking to play infantry, but as a jet user, I don't really find the ping to be too much of an issue on the US servers. Um, I do quite often go in this one if I happen to be playing late at night, you know, one in the morning, two in the morning, especially on a weekend, I'll find a lot of the other good servers for jet users will be empty because they're European servers. So I will be then forced to join a US server. And you, of course, yourself may be based in the US. So this is one of my recommendations. Alrighty, coming in at number four, we have the Rock and Roll State of Grace Hardcore Server. This one's 1,200 tickets and 64 players. It's also 60 hertz, which is nice because not all of the servers are. So this is one of the only populated hardcore servers that I can find out there. And I'm not a person who plays a lot of hardcore. And if you guys are not sure what constitutes as a hardcore server, it's essentially no third person views in vehicles. So as you can see here, I'm flying around in the stealth jet 
in the cockpit view only. There is no 3D spotting, no minimap, although you can see spots on the big map, so it still does pay to hit that Q button and spot up enemy targets. Additionally, for soldiers on the ground, there is no health regen, and in this particular server, you have only 60% health. And the vehicle respawn rate is 79% in this server, so a little bit faster than what is normal. Now, you definitely won't rack up as many kills in a hardcore server, not being able to go in third person mode, not being able to have 3D spotting, you're definitely not going to be able to spot up as many people and take as many people out. But really, when it comes to the beauty of Battlefield 4 and um, immersive gameplay, there really is nothing that beats just flying around in a stealth jet at this kind of speed in first person only. At this point, when I was playing this gameplay, I didn't really even care about getting kills. I was just so immersed and enjoying the experience. So sometimes it is nice to hop in here and have a little bit more of an authentic experience rather than a more arcadey experience. This server also has a really nice selection of maps. It has classic maps and then a smattering of some of the better maps from the expansion. So we've got Pearl Market from the Dragon's Teeth expansion, definitely one of the better infantry maps. Hangar 21 from Final Stand, as you can see as I'm playing here in the background in the Stealth Jet, this is a great map too. Lumpini Garden, Propaganda from Dragon's Teeth, again, fantastic map. You do have Gulf of Oman, Operation Firestorm, and Caspian Border from the second Assault DLC, which, in my opinion, was probably the weakest DLC, not really my favourite. I prefer the original versions of the maps from Battlefield 3, but overall, a very nice mix. Coming in at number 3, we have the Ludum Est Vita, better known as the only Golmud server. 3,200 tickets and 64 players. If you're going to jump into a full round on here, you better not make any plans for the next couple of hours. Vehicle respawn on this one is 59%, so almost cut in half. Other than that, it is a very straightforward map. Golmud Railway, all day, every day. I think Goldmud Railway is definitely one of the more popular maps for vehicular play, so doesn't matter whether you're a tanker or somebody wants to play in the jets or the helicopters, a lot of people love Goldmud Railway, and that is precisely the reason that there is a server with only that running on it all of the time. I don't go in here all too often because the rounds just last for so long, and I'm not 100% sure I really want to play Goldmud Railway for two hours straight, could be even longer if the match ends up being 50-50 all the way down to the last ticket. But it is certainly a great map and a great server for practicing your skills in the vehicle of your choice. I played a lot of this kind of thing back when I was actually trying to get better at flying the attack jets. would just spam the same map over and over and if it switched to an infantry map I would have to switch servers. So once I found something like this that was Golmud only I would just spam the hell out of it, and I think this definitely helped me get better with whatever I was trying to learn to do. Also, the 59% vehicle spawn really helps, so you're not going to have to wait around too long for a vehicle to spawn in, but on the other hand, it's not too fast like that other server I mentioned earlier with the 25% vehicle spawn, so you're not going to be constantly bombarded with an entire vehicle spawn every half a minute or so. Alright, coming in at number two, we have the ever-popular Brazzers. I'm not sure if this is run by the same people as the Brazzers I know, but I highly doubt it. So 1,200 tickets for this one, 64 players, and this is basically just a very normal battlefield experience. The server also runs at 60 hertz, which is nice, and it's pretty noob-friendly. I'm not sure what it is about this server, but it is always full. It's based in Germany, so if you're around that area, you'll most likely have a decent ping to connect to this server. It doesn't have any of the DLC maps, but it has all of the old Conquest ones. But this is basically the most normal Battlefield experience that you can find. They haven't tinkered around with vehicle spawns. They've only increased the ticket rate slightly from 800 up to 1200, so the matches last just a little bit longer. And there aren't any of the DLC maps, so you've just got the classic... Battlefield Conquest experience here, and I think that's probably one of the reasons it's very popular. It also has vote map, so you can simply vote for whatever map you want out of the entire classic bunch each time. 
This is a great choice if you want to double in vehicles, but you also want some infantry play because you've got Siege of Shanghai in there, Zavod 311, Operation Locker, of course, but then, of course, you've got Hainan Resort, Rogue Transmission, Golmud Railway, Langkang Dam, all of the jet favourites, and you'll also find a nice distribution of players in here. You'll find people who are rank 140, but you'll also find lots of people who have bought the game newly and aren't as experienced as a lot of other people. So if you just picked up the game and you're trying to learn how things work, I can highly recommend this server for that. And finally, coming in at number one, we have the Super Infantry Clan Naval Strike Conquest server. This one is 48 players and 1,000 tickets. So the reason I picked this as my number one spot is this is the only server, to my knowledge, that runs the Naval Strike DLC and only the Naval Strike DLC. So Naval Strike has always been my favorite DLC. These maps just look so beautiful and three out of the four of them have the attack jets on them and the stealth jet, so lots of opportunity to do some flying around. And additionally, Nancha Strike and Lost Islands do not have any AA tanks for either side. So this is literally your only opportunity to play in a jet without having to face the AA tanks. This is it, only those two maps. It's your only chance. Operation Mortar has one AA tank that spawns on a flag, so it's by no means the worst map to play on as a jet pilot. And then Wavebreaker is a fantastic map in its own right. Such a cool indoor area with the submarine for infantry play, and then great attack boat play outside, probably because you don't have any annoying jet pilots like me pestering you all the time, but uh, there is an attack helicopter too, so you've got to keep an eye out for that one. Now, unfortunately, this particular server being very popular with jet pilots also means you are going to encounter a lot of pro jet pilots in here. I've encountered lots of people that I've gotten to know over my years of flying jets in this game. Um, they can still hand my ass to me in a dogfight, no problem. And then they usually follow it up by, oh, hey, ghost, how's it going, man? <laughs> so it's definitely worth checking the server browser and if you see somebody at the top of the scoreboard who's like 50 and 0, you can pretty much assume that he's flying the attack jet and he's pretty good. So usually if I see that, I don't bother joining the server because I know I'm just going to get locked in a heated dogfight with the same guy time and time again. That being said, if dogfighting is what you're looking for, then jump in there and uh, try and give that guy a run for his money. So those are my top five servers, guys, but I would like to include a few special mentions here. They didn't quite make the list, but they are nevertheless pretty good servers. So the first one here is another US server, the TBG Clan Rush Maps, 64 players, and this has all of the vanilla Rush Maps. And the one reason I can thoroughly recommend this server is that I have not found any other server that is running all of the vanilla maps in Rush mode. Rush is definitely one of the better alternative game modes to Conquest in any Battlefield game. Definitely trumps any of the game modes I've played in Battlefield 5, and it was definitely my favorite game mode in Battlefield 3. Rush is maybe not quite as good in Battlefield 4 as it was in 3, but I would certainly give it a look if you haven't had the opportunity yet. It's really nice to break things up and just put down Conquest every once in a while for a little bit of something different. Secondly, we have the Hot Chicks server. I don't know what it is about chicks. First it's Brazzers, then it's Hot Chicks. I'm not sure who's making these server names, but this one is Silk Road only, 64 players and 1,600 tickets, and it has 35% vehicle spawn. So super fast vehicle spawn, two stealth jets on either side. So if you do go in this server, especially if you're looking to play stealth jets, you are going to be fighting enemy stealth jets pretty much all of the time. However, if you are looking to get in some dogfighting practice, you want to work on your speed control, anything like that, this is a great server to go in. And in fact, I sometimes hop into this server just to warm up. If I haven't played BF4 for a while, um, my speed control mechanics are a little rusty, I'll hop in here, do a few dogfights with some random people, kill some jets, and then I'll go and hop in the attack jet in a conquest server. And that usually works wonders for me. And finally, we have the Banana Republic. Apparently, the best server maybe ever. Well, I'm not sure I agree with that, and I'll go a little bit more into detail here. Now, this server is definitely 
quite new friendly. If you are a new player, I can probably recommend it. But if you happen to be a bit of a veteran, somebody who can definitely hold their own and get to the top of the scoreboard and get a pretty nice KD, you might want to stay clear of this server. So I've had a couple of strange experiences here. There is usually an admin in this server online at all times. And I've been banned from this server once. I have been killed in this server multiple times for various things that I would deem to not be a big issue. So the first time I was in an attack helicopter as a gunner, I TV missiled the enemy attack helicopter when he was over his home flag and I got killed for apparently spawn killing, even though the guy was well out of his spawn. I asked the guy why he killed me and we had a little bit of a debate about whether it was right or wrong and at the end of things, he basically just banned me from the server. It was quite childish. I wasn't offensive to him at all. I was simply trying to make him see my side of the argument that the guy was not in the spawn, he was on the A flag, and that I had recorded the footage and could even show him that. But he didn't want to hear any of it. He just banned me, therefore winning the conversation automatically. So that was my first encounter there with a badmin. I also heard a similar story from another YouTuber, Art, who does the Battlefield top plays, that he also got kicked from the server for something pretty trivial. Now, a few months pass, and whilst I was recording this video, I found that I was no longer banned from the server, so I decided to go back in, fly around in the attack jet on Parasol Storm, which you can see here in the background, and you'll probably notice these messages flashing up on the screen saying, um, you know, get out of the jet, you need to finish your time in the jet or whatever, straight from the admin, because apparently I was doing too well. At this point, I think I'm sort of around 25 kills. Uh, I have died multiple times though, I'm like 25 and 5, I'm by no means at a ridiculous KD. And basically, after warning me a few times, the admin just proceeded to kill me, I asked him why he did it, and he said check the server rules. And then I discovered that this server has a massive amount of rules, none of which are written on the server browser page, so you just have to try to read them in-game in between the chat from people. And one of these rules is that you cannot have a KD higher than 10, which I do not have, and you cannot get any more than 20 kills in one vehicle, so if you happen to be on a nice streak in a vehicle, you get 20 kills total in a game, not on one life, but 20 kills total, they will basically ask you to get out of the vehicle and let somebody else have a chance. I guess in a way this might be nicer for newer players, but it just seems a bit strange to be punishing somebody for doing well at a certain aspect of the game. I also know that if one team caps all of the enemy flags, instead of letting that team just spawn rape for the rest of the round, they will actually kill the entire team and let the defending team capture a couple of flags back to sort of turn the tides and help them out a little bit, which I think is actually not a bad idea. Probably feels a bit bad as an attacker thinking you're winning the game and all of a sudden you just die on the spot. But getting all camped in Battlefield and having an entire team just sit in your spawn and you can't get out is not much fun either. So I suppose I'll just summarize by saying this. If you're a newer player, this server definitely has rules in place to protect you and make sure that you have a fighting chance. But if you're not a new player, you're somebody who is quite experienced at the game, then I would definitely avoid this server like the plague. Some of the admins mean well, I'm sure, but there are undoubtedly a lot of so-called badmins in this server who are just simply abusing their power whenever they don't agree with something and it's basically their way or the highway. It's a bit sad to see, it's one of the negative sides of having servers that you can rent and have admins in. And so that's the reason I really decided to include it in this video. I don't think people should just be able to get away with things like that and have the last say. Uh, they can keep me out of their server, but they're not going to keep me from voicing my opinions on here. In any case, that is my server selection for PC Battlefield 4 done. Bravo if you made it all the way to the end. I really didn't plan for this video to be like 20 minutes long. I was thinking more like 10 minutes, but uh, I guess I rambled on for longer than I should have done. So I'm going to stop here, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Leave your comments down below, please. Let me know your favorite servers. I would love for a nice list down below to be compiled because I'm always enjoying finding new servers that other people like and other people who comment on my videos would love to see that as well. So please leave your own thoughts and favorites down below. 
leaving a like would be really appreciated. And if you enjoyed the content, maybe think about subscribing. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.